Hey everyone, uh, my name is Rashid. Uh, I live in Colorado, United States. Um, I'm an electronics engineer. I have a master's degree electron in electronics engineering with, with specialization on system on chip. Um, I work for an Intel company. I've been working for them for the last um, 14, 15 years. Um, and the time I've been with Intel, I've worked on you know physical design phase of integrated circuits. Um, overall, I have about uh, 19, 20 years um, field experience, and all of that experience um, has been related to uh, integrated circuit design. Um, yeah, this is this would be my first ever video on on YouTube, and these days. Um, because of the, the corona uh, virus environment or situation, most of us are staying home. Um, I'm working from home, my whole team is, has been working from home. And you know, all the colleges, schools, uh, universities are, are closed. Um, so I thought, you know, maybe I should, I should um, um, start some tutorial or some sort of video for for other people um, who wants to learn about integrated circuit design or there are students there who have time right now and who can um, learn more about physical design um, a physical design exactly what it is i'm going to explain all that it's also called physical design or back end design of integrated circuits so that's my overall goal um, i will do several short videos and uh, I will think about those short topics um, that I can give and you know give those in, in a way that um, is easier for, for the uh, for the viewers to learn about this, this field. Um, I will try to make it make it more interesting um, and, and present it to um, to the students in, in colleges and schools in a way that they uh, they they feel attractive to the field and they like it um, and I, I love this field I like it I've been in this as I said for for 19 years um, so again the overall will be integrated circuits if you have any uh, questions or there's something within integrated circuits that you want to learn more uh, please um, mention that in the comments I will um, you know talk more about those topics too so overall um, what is physical design or backend design within integrated circuits so integrated circuits your purpose is you know the field that I've been in is uh, you create a hardware um, uh, on a chip and then you send that chip to fabrication um, plant for getting the chip back and this is uh, the cycle starts with the hardware sketch on paper um, you convert that hardware into an RTL okay uh, using very log system very log or VHDL, those languages. So it's the same hardware that you have sketched on paper. You just model it or write it uh, in, in a language, in a file. Okay, once you have written in a file, um, you run this through simulators, you simulate, you verify that this hardware that you've written is really uh, meeting the specs, you validate it completely. And when you think it's, it's good, um, you give it to a back-end design or physical design team. Um, the purpose of physical design is, um, in, in a nutshell, is to convert that um, RTL or HDL core into an actual transistor and interconnection of millions of those transistors or billions. Um, then that whole circuit or design of millions or billions of transistors is you know verified so many things that we run in the validation within physical design and when we are satisfied we are happy overall verification is good 
um, vSend a file uh, to Fab. That file is called GDS file or SS file. It goes to a mask shop, they create mask for every layer, you know, transistor consists of several metals. Um, sorry, typically metals are above that, but okay, let's say these are, you know, the layers, then transistor connected to higher layer, then is a VR, then another layer, VR, another layer, so 10, 11, or it depends on the technology, how many layers are. Um, mask shop can work, create some mask for each of those layer, and eventually those masks are sent to the, uh, to the fab. And um, in a month or two months, um, depends on the fab, depends on the load or the priority of your, your project, uh, fab finishes those and eventually you get your silicon back and there is a whole, um, uh, you know, a lot of verification, which we call post silicon verification, which we do. Uh, once everything is good, um, then um, that uh, chip is, is ready to be sent um, to customer or to be uh, put on a platform and, and ship it. So that in a nutshell is, is uh, you know, a, this is a phase of integrated circuit design uh, when you want to manufacture a large number of in, in thousands of those chips or millions of those chips. Uh, that, that's the cycle we go through. So in, in the coming videos, I will go through, um, you know, architecture, hardware, um, written process and physical design. I'll try to go more into physical design. What are the different steps and stages and what verification is carried out on each step. Um, and eventually, what kind of verification we do once we have a chip back. Um, I will go through those topics in detail. Uh, in the in in the future videos so thanks a lot for for watching me and if you have any questions or feedback i'll be happy to receive those thank you bye